Happy Easter morning! Yes, it's fixing to be Easter time. And I'm wearing my favorite colors, hot pink and orange, and white, <laughs> which I'm white. <laughs> I'm so white, y'all. I need some sun. I'm going to start trying that, um, that, um, Jergens lotion that has a, okay, can you tell there's a hair in my face? Okay, so I'm going to do an eye tutorial, as you can see. How are y'all doing? Look, my princess cup. This is something my bestie gave me. Isn't that cute? And my husband made it for me. It's regular tea, sweetened with Splenda, and peach flavoring. And a little bit of squirt of lemon. It's really good. Mmm. Okay. That's a nice, refreshing drink. How are y'all doing? Oh, I'm hot. Okay. I'm ready to do a tutorial for y'all. My hair just looks, y'all. Let me just tell you, as you get older, it is so much harder. Oh, enjoy your hairs while you have them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do eyes. I went ahead and already did my um, face. And I used, um, not your Laura Geller, um, I can't think of the name of the stinking makeup, but it, I wouldn't recommend it anyway. A lot of people talk about it because it has so much high coverage, but y'all are so thick looking. I mean, like I, when I look on my skin in a mirror, I can see makeup. It doesn't look natural at all. I mixed a little bit of my um, Chanel Vitalumere Aqua because um, remember that was my favorite before I did the, um, the um, matte version, which is my all-time favorite and really my only favorite makeup. I probably could do with a number of other things, but not, no, I cannot do without that makeup. Now, let me just tell you, I'm here to do a makeup tutorial. I forgot my mascara. Isn't that just so bad? And I have two mascaras to choose from, and I gotta tell you, for the first time, it is a tough choice. Because, y'all know, my number one favorite mascara is the Chanel Inimitable Waterproof. However, this is much cheaper, it's easier to get because you can go to your local grocery store or drugstore, and it's the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal, Colossal uh, Waterproof. All mine are black, and I'm going to do, you know what, why don't I do an eye, an eye, no, my eyes are not always the same, but I'm going to do one eyelashes and one and one and the other. What do y'all think? Why not? Okay. So, don't tell me. I did. I forgot the eyeshadow I was going to use, but you know what I have handy? My Too Faced Chocolates. Chocolate bonbons. So I'm going to use that. Don't look at my nails. <laughs> Isn't it funny how people say, don't look at my nails, and then they show their nails. Um, I didn't put on a primer. That's okay. I got a little makeup on underneath. And I got to tell you, I prep my eyes with one of two things, which it's hard to say which is the favorite of these. And that is the Rimmel Match Perfection in 230 Fair Life. Concealer, life, fair life, uh, concealer, it says it holds for 13 hours, but it's so thin, that's what I love about it, it's not so thick, um, this is a, this is a little thicker, but it's not bad, and that's the, um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, and it says it's a treatment concealer with Gojo Berry and Haloxyl, this has vitamin C and E, so they're both the vitamins, so you can eat them. I'm just kidding. I don't know if you can eat them or not. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. And I also use my number two rose, blonde, rose bronze blush by Chanel with a number four blush brush by Chanel. And so that's what I currently have on. Oh, and I do have MAC. A little bit of bronzer with my little Sigma. This is my, um, is it Mrs. Bunny or Mr. Bunny? But anyway, it's the travel brush set. And that little pink and blue in it pretty. But it's a Sigma Large Powder F30 in a little size. Look how tiny. Normally they're like this long. And so I did put on a little bronzer, especially under here. Give a little shadow, give a little shadow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all been done, and I will just use whatever comes up out of this palette. So first of all, I'm going to use a Sigma E55 shader brush, and I'm going to choose a highlighter uh, for Easter. I think I'm going to use, what should I use? Something different? Maybe a blend of the sprinkles and the satin sheets. And we'll tap that off. And that's this color right here. And Satin Sheets, obviously, is the highlighter because they got it in the large size. 
because you can not only use that for under your brow, which I do this slowly to get it all packed in the pores good, and then I bristle it out. Um, yeah, that's got a little bit of a pink hue. What do y'all think? Now I'm going to use just the, um, the satin sheets right in the inner corner to kind of wake up the eye a little bit, and then I dust it over the lid and the edges of my eye where if I have boo-boos, um, they shouldn't show up as bad. Oh, my hair is going to be a problem. There we go. So again, I do this very slow to make sure I've got good placement and I don't lose a lot of product by, you know, um, dusting it. And then I'm going to take some satin sheets. That, again, was a mix of sprinkles and satin sheets for my inner corner. And go over the lid and then I come up through here and on the outside. Why? Because if I get some dark shadow out there, I'll have this underneath it to kind of dust off any boo-boo of a dark shadow. So now I need a neutral shadow. And I, I either choose mocha or um, cashew or praline. What should I use if I'm going to do pinks today? Um, I think I'm going to use cashew. Cashew chew. <laughs> These are the cutest little candy names. Alright, and that is just a neutral background to just kind of blend, you know, underneath the brow down to the crease. Again, this is kind of like a light, maybe a light taupe is what I would say this is. And I think that'll blend very pretty with um, another brown, but also I'm going to get a little bit of pink base in here. Okay, so it's just a dusting to kind of not have white there. But what I'm really going to use for the crease is this, by the way, that was a large fluffy brush and that is an E50 by Sigma. These are all Sigma brushes. I keep going back to those. Small tapered blending brush E45. And y'all, these are so old. I think these are like six years old. They're still holding up. But it's not very tapered anymore. Um, I think I am going to use... Um, let's see. I think I am going to use, should I use the pink? Why not? Let's do it. Okay, this has got some brown in it, but that's kind of good. This brush already has a little brown because I haven't cleaned it lately, so it's probably got a little brown in it. All right, this is called Totally Fetch, and this is a true pink, like almost a hot pink, but because it's darker, it's, uh, it's coming across like pink brown, and that's what I really wanted to do. So I'm going to really circle it out in this outer area. Just do little circles on the skin. Don't lift the brush. And then go back and forth and back and forth. That's working out real pretty, y'all. I like that. Totally fetch. Okay, now to look at it, it is like hot pink. Right there. So, tell me these. But it has a pink hue to it, but I guess maybe because there's brown in the brush or because um, I'm going with a light hand on this, except in the corner, I, again, without lifting the end, I do little swirlies, you know, like you're doing like that, but only I never lift it up, and it just kind of concentrates the color, and that's what I want to do in the outer area. Oh, actually, that worked out pretty good. I actually like it. You know? I like it. Now, for underneath, my eye, well, first of all, before I do anything else, I'm going to use this Bordeaux color with a little malted. And that is going to be my brow color. I hope this does not, like, go, oh, my gosh, when I put it on. And I have to come in a little because this brow is less, um, woo, this brow is less, um, symmetrical than the other brow, so I always have to come in a little further, and then I fill backward a little bit. There. That went a little too far down. <laughs> there. How is that for powder? <laughs> Look at the difference, y'all. <laughs> okay, so again, this Bordeaux, which has got a little bit of red to it, that's why I was a little endangered by it, and Malted's got a little bit of a shine to it like a glitter shine, and I don't want that in my brow. Of course, then again, why not? And I am going to um, not talk as much when I do this, because I do not want to mess up the symmetry. And I might, I don't know. 
and I bring my brow in a little further and kind of fill in this little area right here. And again, this is all just with powder. This isn't like a wet product, it's just powder. It's a softer look. Um, actually, I did, took away a little too much there. It's hard to also tell when you're doing this in front of a camera because you're not in your normal setting if they're even. I hope they're even. But now I'm going to use this same short shader, E20 from Sigma, and I am going to use this black curant. And I'm going to mix it with that hot pink fetch. I wonder what that's going to look like. That's what I thought. It's like a purple, so it really makes my green pop. You know? And I'm running it under the lash line just to kind of fill them in and also give it a color base that is going to make my green eyes pop. And I'm going to kind of back brush over my lash line on my upper eyes as well just to try to, um, um, you know what, I do want to kind of make it a little dark on the edges. Let me get that. And I'm going to use this Earl Grey, this is like a, um, and I'm going to mix it with a little malted just to darken it in the edge. Actually, I came all the way in, didn't I? <laughs> just, uh, well, you know where you first touch down, that's where it's going to be the darkest. And I'm still going to do that. Yeah. Okay, well, a little drama. Don't be too dramatic for Easter, but at the same time, what drama, right? Thank God for Jesus. That is a drama. Uh, to be crucified as an innocent man, done nothing wrong, but try to save people. And he did. And the only thing they wanted him to 